And in both of my diagnosis, what I had to experience is, you know, I was diagnosed at my local community hospital. Um, at that point, you know, I decided to seek out and make sure I was getting a good second opinion. So then I went to a university setting. The second time, I went to an academic setting. And in both situations, when I had to retrieve my pathology slides, it was an absolute nightmare. Um, not only physically having to go down and show my driver's license and fill out the paperwork and get those images, but having them sent to other institutions, having them get lost, and then ultimately what it ended up happening is that it delayed the treatment process, right? So when the doctors wanted to meet for tumor board, they couldn't meet because they hadn't had a chance to review my slides. Those situations happen every day. I had another great conversation with a woman who had brain cancer and her image or her mass actually was sent to another institution and it actually got lost and they could not even find that mass. And that to me is just unacceptable. These are stories that happen every day and that's really where digital pathology can help patients. I think it's number one, leveraging my voice, right? Sharing my story. I think my story, as well as the woman who lost her brain mass, that, that's one of many stories that are out there. And I think patients haven't talked about it. And it's number one, bringing awareness. And then it's educating patients that pathology is part of the treatment process. And I really want to advocate for patients to engage with their pathologists. I want pathologists to come out from behind the microscope and engage with patients. You know, we shouldn't get calls from a breast surgeon saying you have cancer. You know, for me, a picture is worth a thousand words. How great would it be to go in and sit down with your pathologist, not only review your pathology report, but actually see an image of what the cancer looks like so that you can process what's happening to your body.